Hi, we're the Psychic Twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And we're here with Super Fruit. Hi! Oh, wow. oh my god. It's so nice to finally meet you guys. Uh, I can't believe you're here. That's so sweet. fangirling. Oh, oh, I just wish the sofa was rolling right now. Oh, oh my god. Gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you guys have such an evolved mission on the planet. Mm. And I mean, when we were channeling, we got these really bad headaches because whenever we're channeling on really powerful people, we process energy in a weird way. And it was like intense. We both got like these really throbbing headaches oh really while cool. we were channeling on you before just sort of meditating and doing our automatic writing. Mm. And oh my God, it was so, and we said, these guys are really intense healers. They're powerful healers oh, wow. in past lives Very as nice. well as this life. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's why your reach is so broad. You have, you're in a state of expansion in this lifetime, which is, I think, greater than any past life you've had. Wow. where you're holding a vibration of, um, of healing healing mm -hmm. for the planet at large and also for individuals that mm -hmm. you meet and that you perform for. You're yeah. very impactful wherever you go. You are going to have this tremendous ripple effect. And I think that's why you are, you're sensitive and sometimes you have to cocoon, especially mm -hmm. you, Mitch. You call that. Right. <laughs> yep. I, I actually relate to you because I we, yeah. we have to really like just sort of hide from people mm -hmm. at recharge. times, recharge, yeah, very sure. much so. And just sort of remember what you're really here for, mm -hmm. to enjoy it too, because right. you're such perfectionists. But you have this lovely quality. People feel your hearts. They feel the purity of your hearts. And that's why you're so successful, mm -hmm. is they resonate with that. They want that. And they may not always say it, but your mission is one of healing in this life. Yeah, I mean, you're so authentic, both of you, and you're so honest yeah. with your fans. Yeah. And I mean, you have like a gazillion fans, a gazillion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh like, God. I can't even fathom it, what you have to deal with. But when you're singing on stage, what you're doing is, it's almost like you're preaching. It's almost like a sermon. Like when I watch you guys, it's like, uh, almost like I'm in church, watching you guys sing. Wow. And Thank you. it's interesting. Interesting too. Well, we're going to start with Mitch on our channel and then we'll do on their part of the collab, we're going to do Scott. But Mitch, I feel like you are very much of an old soul second level, which means you'll probably come back a few more lifetimes. Okay. If the planet's still here. I'm into that. We never know. That's right. We might just never know. I think we'll be good. I we'll be good for okay. this lifetime. Oh, okay, here's, <laughs> funny, here's a funny one. Past life speaking. Mm -hmm. You guys were brother and sister in southern France. Oh, okay. Really? So you were, did you How feel she... that? Did you speak <laughs> <laughs> French? Did you say yeah. That? yeah, I mean, we love France. So we, love you, France. Uh, we love France. Who's too. the brother and sister? I have to be the sister. I sister thought so. Brother in that life. Do you I think can, so? I feel like oh, yeah. brother sister in this life. I think yeah. so. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> was starting to say that to me. She said it to me. <laughs> 1600. 1600. Wow. Yes. It, was, it was a very happy life. And I, you said, we're going to come back together. You know, I think you even did sing in that life as well. Yeah. And it sort of was just entertaining for you then. You had no idea what your mission would be, but you came back with this exalted mission to really be powerful in the world and you will continue to be throughout your life. Mm. Both of you. Do you have psychic wow. dreams? I think I do, yeah. Okay, do you? They're, um, yeah, I'm, they're sort of cryptic, but I feel like I'm very good at interpreting them, and then they're sort mm. of, they happen, I mean, psychic dreams. So. Oh, like so, a psychic okay, dream. So that's called a precognitive yeah. dream. Mm. Yeah. And yes. that doesn't surprise me at all. I feel like you're clairaudient, which means you just hear spirit said. as well. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, oh, wow. ever since you were like two years old. Oh my god. <laughs> you've been hearing. <laughs> that's talking. actually kind of true. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a grandmother that comes through sometimes. You got it. I keep getting sorry. like Jane or Janet. Oh, Janet. Oh, Jane oh my god. Janet. Her name is Janet, yeah. Oh my god, god. okay, that okay. really is making me sweat. Oh my gosh, I know. Oh my gosh, it's it's really? Like you're sweaty? <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, yeah. Janet is around you so oh, much. Oh, wow. uh, so much love, I mm. feel. You have a big family, Absolutely. don't you? Uh, extended. Yeah, extended for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. 
I feel like she just had a, a largesse, a very big yes. personality mm. and so many you know, relatives and mm. she's with loved ones now. Yes. And it's funny because when I said Jane, Jane is our mom, so sometimes I think, is it mom coming through? But then I got Janet, I very clearly wrote mm. a T at the end. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's very much with you, Mitch. Wow, I fully believe that, yeah. Do you she's ever crazy. dream about her? Um, I don't think I dream about her, no. Usually, like right after they pass, we'll dream more about our loved ones, mm. and then they kind of go off on their own, but they'll visit, and I feel like she does visit you and she's around you very much. Mm. I do too. There's a Daniel coming in, connected with family. Okay. And there's also an Anthony or Tony that I'm getting. Is mm. there connected with Anthony or Daniel? Grandma. Of you. Connected with and, grandma. And not necessarily past. Yeah, my grandfather's name is Anthony. Oh, is he? Really? Okay, yeah. so sometimes when we're together, oh, yeah. when two people are very close, we mm. do pick up on other people while they're in the same reading wow. together. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, <laughs> and now he's with is, you. Is he living or is he just... He just passed away. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Really? Thanks, yeah. Oh, no wonder he came in so strongly. A couple times I was writing his name. Somebody here. had heart problems and yeah. some... Did he? Yeah, he had open heart surgery. Oh, oh. Yeah, heart okay. problems were in my family. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, well, I feel like he's okay now. Oh, wow. And he's reassured you. He's being uh, healed on the other side. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he's good. He really wow. comes through with a lot of love. That's amazing. He's got... And he's somebody fine. has a cancer, it feels like, in your family. Mm. And I don't know whether it's breast or lung, but somebody uh, has... My this mom's, area. my mom's parents are they were heavy smokers. Heavy smokers. Okay, oh. there's the lung cancer. Yes. Okay. Who had the diabetes? May you still be living. That was my. Um, this is so strange to me. <laughs> that was my. Uh, <laughs> that was Janet's husband, my grandpa, my dad. Oh, oh right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Um, okay. And and he passed as well, correct? He did. Yeah. Okay. okay, I feel like there's somebody living too in your family that may have diabetes or find out about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm mm -hmm. seeing a pregnancy uh, or somebody just had a child mm -hmm. in, was it your family, Scott? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my sister just had a child. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But you're going to hear about another pregnancy and I think it's going to be within the group. Yes. Within your group. And it's oh, being wow. so It's so about that. It's not you, Scott. It could wow. be <laughs> <It's> me. <laughs> That would be interesting. That would be interesting. The first pregnant man. I love it. Although I think it's been done before. Yes. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm going to uh, text her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's going to be like, action. I was really meditating on your having had a life in the cloth, and it felt like Italy, like the Milan area or northern Italy, where you were a Franciscan. Friar, and it was the it was the order of um, Saint, Francis. Saint Francis of Assisi, mm. and you were very poor. It was a very austere life, and it felt like it was like 13th or 4th. I'm tearing up for some reason. Oh I'm, sorry. I'm emotional, emotional around this. Oh. 13th century and you were it was like you were very ascetic meaning you gave up all your worldly goods you were mm. lived a life of poverty and you said shit I'm not doing this again mm. so you came back and had more fortune yeah, in this yeah, life yeah. <laughs> but it was a very very devout life oh, wow. and I don't know if you resonate with that but you really both of you had life in the claw um, well the funny thing is when we were we lived in Rome and, and we went to college there and oh, art wow. school there and so it's our favorite place in the world Mm -hmm. But uh, when we traveled to Milan, we got locked in a church by a crazy priest oh, with a bunch of beggar children. Oh, and they were like pulling on us, and it was very it was strange. Touch and go. Oh, yes, it was very, very strange. We had so strange. very it odd was. experiences to get us yeah. through yeah. Italy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a strange so place. It is. It is a strange place. It's pretty spiritual. Intense. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the mafia connection is very, it's sort of hard to okay. be, especially in Rome and Sicily area, you would probably find it hard to be there just because oh. you're sensitive. Mm. We did, um, and we studied art there, but <clears throat> did you it tour was throughout yeah. Italy? Did you guys tour through? Um, yeah, yeah we we've done a couple, a couple okay. shows. How from. wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh we God. love it there. Great fans. The fans are amazing. Do you? Oh, yeah. oh I, they would yeah. be so much energy. They love music. So too. much heart. I can see Yes, exactly. Amazing. Yeah, I love it. Amazingly enthusiastic. You have love as a dominant theme because you're ruled by six in Venus mm -hmm. in your, your chart, Cancer and Leo cusp. Mm -hmm. And you are ruled by love. And Six of Venus is really the dominant theme of your life. It's you, you really give a thousand percent when you're in relationships, mm -hmm. Mitch. And I think sometimes that leaves you vulnerable for hurt. For sure, and, yeah. And so, especially more than even Scott. 
and I think you are going to attract love. Um, it feels a serious love coming within the next few years. Yes, I felt that. I feel a long-term relationship for you. I feel like you're very yeah. loyal. Mm, yeah, I would say so. Very. very. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a nice yeah, quality. Definitely. It's a nice quality and <laughs> rare it is. people, oh, but I think it's lovely. And I think yeah. that you had a recent breakup, which I feel is a good thing. It was a good thing for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my last one was definitely. Okay. But it okay. feels like you're still a little bit attached mm -hmm. to him. I would say so. <laughs> okay. yeah, Which I right. don't love, but it's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, you it's can okay. cut the cords. Yeah. It is okay. Yeah. Yeah. It takes time. Mm. But you we all go through it. it. Yes, yeah, sure. we do. Go through it. Yeah. And I want you to just meditate. In general, I feel meditation is good for both of you. Who does the yoga? I've done yoga before, and, and I meditate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a feeling that you mm -hmm. did. Do you yeah, I love it. Meditate? I do too. He got me into meditating actually. I haven't oh, um, done in a while, but yeah. I really loved it. Oh, yeah. It's good for both of you. Very you would good. resonate with Buddhism, both of you, mm -hmm. but especially you. Yes. Well, we're Buddhist, long time practicing Buddhists. Oh, wow. Um, but I think you would especially resonate because of a past life you had in Japan, and you were mm -hmm. a Buddhist in that life. Okay. It's kind of an ancient life. Wow. Yeah. I, I, actually, amazing. it's yeah. very interesting. Very you had a past life. I don't usually pick this mm -hmm. up for people, but in Poland, you practiced astrology and tarot and psychic work yeah. in a past life in Poland. Mm. Yes. So interesting, Eastern European life. Uh, you might find an interest in astrology and tarot now. For sure, yeah. Do I you? do. Um, I have a friend that does tarot. Oh, yeah. He reads for me really? all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, you're, you're going to be doing the reading, and you're going to be yeah, doing. I think you should learn healing cards. work. Really, yeah. healing work. Which I would love to. Yeah. We yeah. don't. We don't do tarot cards. We have a lot of friends who do. We yeah. play around. I think you'd them. be very good. It's kind of a trigger. It's a tool. Mm -hmm. Just a tool that you can use, to kind of trigger psychic ability and impressions. Okay. And then you kind of you don't have to stay strict with each card's meaning. Just sort of channel because you're a natural channel. Mm -hmm. You're very connected with spirit, and I think that's how you write your music yeah. both of you you're channeling it from another dimension wow yes oh and so you can ask very much guys so. that to makes help. it sound way cooler i know it's like i wish it was that though yeah it's not always easy is it no. the oh, writing no. process no, no, it's tough. but if you call upon your spirit guides and ask them for help especially if there's a resolution with a certain song i think you're going to find the solution will come more easily Okay. okay. Meditation will yeah. help you with that, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. But you're definitely good at channeling and staying in touch with spirit. Because yeah. they're working through you. Uh, I keep getting the name Mary, too, around you. Yeah. Is there a Mary in the family? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Or probably Who a couple, is that? actually. Yeah, I have a couple more. The first, one, the first one that I think of is my dad's sister, so my aunt. Okay, Aunt Mary. Yeah. Hi. Hey, shout out. Hi, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> So go ahead and ask us anything. Ooh. Could be past, present, future. Oh my gosh. So many questions. Oh, good. Um, what I've, I mean, what I've kind of, you were touching on it earlier, but I've always wanted to know like how I can sort of open myself up more to audio and sometimes oh. visual, even though I'm sort of scared of visual interaction. Okay. Okay, clairvoyance mm -hmm. is the visual. Mm -hmm. And because you have dreams, I feel like, and you're also very good with design and fashion. And, mm -hmm. So oh, you yeah. are clairvoyant <laughs> already, you are, and you probably have dreams that are very visual mm -hmm. and, you know, may find that if you paint or draw, mm -hmm. that will open you up yes. to clairvoyance. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Okay. I would mm -hmm. recommend that. Yes. Uh, oh, by the way, I was getting the amethyst stone for you, which is very good for healing mm -hmm. and protection mm -hmm. and yeah. removing negativity and fear. Okay, yeah, I have a lot of that. Do you? <laughs> good, good. Yeah. good. And you, you have an amethyst? Mm -hmm. Good. I Do you wear it on it. your person, like in a necklace or? In if a I'm house? feeling particularly anxious or something, I'll ha I like have a little one, just a little geo that I can Okay. This okay, is perfect. Uh, amethyst, our friend. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. a really, that's <laughs> a powerful one. That. 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 It's like yeah. a Brazilian amethyst. It's cool. It's nice and cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You're going to hate yeah, just the more you meditate and tune in and ask your spirit guides for help to open you up, mm. to re be a better receiver, yeah. opening up your receivership, we call it, okay, good. to receive the information that you need to know. Mm. And sometimes it's just like, hey, calm down, take time off, retreat a little bit. You're not always listening because you're such workaholics, and right. we are too, we understand. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's good to take a step back for just a couple 
couple weeks and not feel sad, like you need to engage so much. Definitely, yeah. With yeah. the fans, it can really pull on your energy, and I think you feel very tired sometimes when. Definitely. You know, when you perform, especially in front of these audiences and meet and greets, it can be very, very draining for very sensitive people. Yeah. So really, That's listen correct. to your body. <laughs> yeah. But I think naturally, uh, because you sing and you're around music all the time, that will naturally help your clear audience to open up. Yes. And I'll connect you with spirit. So just ask spirit, you know, help me to open up my hearing, help me to open up my clear vision mm -hmm. and my clairvoyance and my clairaudience mm -hmm. and to protect me. I also yes. picked up the lapis, a mm -hmm. stone lapis. Mm -hmm. Do you have lapis? I don't. That's the blue one? It is. Okay. It's like a lapis lazuli. It's a very deep beautiful blue yeah. and it's good for the throat chakra to open up the energy energize the throat chakra mm. good for singers mm -hmm. and uh, protection as well okay oh, wow okay. Divine really protection. Like yes do you, do you do. Do. good you guys and so we're gonna <laughs> visualize when you're meditating visualize that spinning turquoise light around your throat chakra because this is the center the chakra of loving communication mm. and so you guys I mean that's your mission communicating yeah. with your voice you know and so visualize that wonderful turquoise color the color of loving communication yeah and I'm also feeling neck neck and neck and upper back pain for you and sometimes stiffness mm, neck for sure okay because that's coming in as something that could be problematic unless you get like hands-on healing massage and chiropractic and so on. okay it could really help you because I think you take on a lot of mental energy mm. and it's sort of stuck in these upper chakras. Yeah, it tends a lot. Yeah, we do too. And so um, spirit is coming in with potential upper back and neck problems in the future if you don't start really taking care of yourself. Okay. That way, because it could get, don't lift heavy things. I really caution you. I don't. Okay. But you, uh, you do have an inspirational quality that actually you inspire almost worship in in your fans. Oh wow! I, I, you have to have noticed that. It is pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> you really do. Yeah. Because you have this lovely energy that they want a piece of you. They want to just kind of bask in your lovely energy mm -hmm. and it's just incredible how much you've accomplished. Oh you're, yeah. Your oh, prodigies, you two are prodigies. Thank you. And it's amazing. And thank I you. mean so admirable. Yeah. Um, but then there's pressure to follow up with something as good or better. Of course. And yeah. that's where I think you take on this heavy heaviness. Mm -hmm. It's sort of what becomes a burden. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to yeah. be a burden. Yeah. You yeah. know, just have fun with it. You just trust yeah. it. Yeah, trust. Yeah. It either lands or it doesn't yes. move on. There is a Net. There's yeah, a we net that come you come over more often. Ah, <laughs> you should come over more often. You're welcome. That feels good I'm right now. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you have it's to. It's gonna be an amazing oh, year. Oh god. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So really welcome. Excited. Well, thanks so much for <laughs> coming on our channel. Thanks for having us. So much fun. You're welcome, honey. And we'll see you in the future.